All right, this is your August 2020 real estate market update. This is Derek DeVille here. I'm with Realty One Group Empire, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Let's talk about what's specifically going on here in the high desert in our real estate market. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know we have very low inventory, meaning we have way more buyers than we do sellers. You know the homes are receiving multiple offers at or above the list price, given that it's priced correctly. Um, interest rates are in the twos, so buyers are taking advantage of that because their payments are just dirt cheap with uh, such a low interest rate. And um, that's the synopsis of what's been going on, and that is still going on. What is today? Today's August 5th as I'm recording this, and the market is just absolutely insane. It's going off. I mean, um, me and my office, we set another record as far as sales last month. The month before that was an all-time record, so we're just breaking records, breaking records, and so are our agents. And um, anyway, so I'm going to show you exactly what the facts and figures are. We're going to hop into that, but um, if you have any real estate needs, you can reach out to me. I'd love to help you, 760-559-4805, and um, you can either work with me directly or I can connect you with one of my agents regardless you'll be taken care of. So let's dive on in and take a look and see what is going on exactly. All right, guys, so this first graph I'm showing here, you can see the average for sale price for a property, the average sold in the pending. Note that the pending, the number of properties that are in escrow, which is pended or what pending means, has exceeded the current inventory levels. Unbelievable. Look at that. It's right there. 453, it says, the previous month, 334 this month. I mean, the inventory levels are just crazy low, and obviously there's there's properties just selling as soon as they hit the market if they're priced correctly. So this next graph, take a look at the average days on market. And these numbers are actually kind of skewed because they're taking into account every property. Really, on average, it's taking about 40 days for homes to sell. The 67 is based off when you average in all of the homes that have been sitting in the market for a year, two years, because they're crazy overpriced. Um, so those numbers are kind of skewered. Anyways, next graph here, months of inventory. I go over this every single uh, report that I do every month. But basically what that means is if nobody else was allowed to put a house on the market, how long would it take us to get rid of all the homes that are currently for sale? To give you an idea, six months of inventory is considered a very healthy and fast-moving market. We're at 1.1. That's just insane. Meaning that if nobody else puts a house on the market within 1.1 months, so basically one month, there will be no homes for sale. That is how short the inventory is. It's just, it's just crazy. Anyways, last graph here, you can see the average asking price is 354. The average selling price is 299. So anyways, with all that said, I hope you find this information valuable. I really do strive to put good content out there, good, valuable information. And as far as what the future holds, gosh, who knows? Um, I've been in the business 15 years. This market reminds me of 2005, which, which was just prior to the crash in 2006. Um, I just don't know. I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm obviously watching everything. As soon as I see any indications that we're potentially starting the downturn, um, keep watching these videos because I will put it out there just like I did 15 years ago when I let my clients know in uh, 06 that the market was going to crash and that was before it actually did. A lot of people listened to me and they sold their homes and made a lot of money and there were some people that didn't listen to me and they lost a lot of equity and some, if not all of them, actually lost their homes because they had refinanced and had such a, a high uh, mortgage amount. So anyways, if I can help you out with anything, I hope you give me a call, 760-559-4805. I hope you, your family, and your loved ones are healthy and happy. Bye-bye.